Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today I want to show you how you can build your own secret website on the dark web. I'm going to build it on a Raspberry Pi, but you can use any version of Linux, whatever you have. So building a website on the dark web is actually really easy to do and it's really fast. I've built a uh, Raspberry Pi. I have the latest Raspberry Pi OS on there and I've just SSH to that little box. Let's run through the various different commands. As I said, it's going to take like five minutes. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a sudo apt update and a sudo apt upgrade. That's the first thing you should do all the time. And sudo apt upgrade. Okay. Updates are done, let's clear the screen. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install Nginx and we're gonna install Tor. Now, Nginx is gonna be the web server that we'll use on our Raspberry Pi and Tor is the, the engine that gets you connected into the dark web, so let's do that. So sudo apt install fy Nginx and Tor. Let's clear the screen. So technically now that is Nginx installed so we can create a very basic web page. Please. Okay, so let's put that in this place. So we're gonna go uh, var www.html uh, and we're going to call it index.html done okay so now we have our web page up and going the next thing that we have to do is we have to configure tor we're going to tell tor to expose that web page that we have created onto the tor network there's not really that many steps involved but let's go through that so sudo we're going to do nano we're going to edit this file in here so Okay, so you're going to go to the very bottom of this page. Once you're here, you're going to enter three lines. So it's hidden, hidden service directory. We're going to use var, um, lib, it's going to be tor. I'm going to call it hidden service site. Okay, we need to do the next one, hidden service version and this is going to be three and then the next one hidden service port it's going to be port 80 we're going to do 127.0.0.1 on port 80 okay cool so hidden service directory hidden service version hidden service port okay say so control x we're going to hit y to save that hit enter perfect so now we've made those changes in that file and they're saved, we need to make some permission changes. Whenever you install Tor by default, it has its own user called Debian-Tor. So we need to give it the permission to be able to create that hidden service site folder. I'm gonna copy these commands and I'm gonna, I'll put these in the description so you guys can have them too. But that's what we need to enter. If you enter that, hit enter and that should make the permission changes that you need. The next thing we need to do is to just verify the config that we've just made. So let's do that. So sudo dash u, we're going to use the Debian user. And we're going to tor and then we're going to go verify config. Configuration was valid. Okay, perfect. So let's restart the tor service. Sudo systemctl restart tor ah done okay that is perfect so the last thing we need to do is just to get our dot onion address and that is going to be available to us here var we're going to go dot lib tor hidden service site and uh, we're going to search for host name oh there it is okay so all we have to do is copy this and and copy that and let's just open tor and we will get connected to this raspberry pi website on the dark web okay i've opened up the tor browser first thing you have to do is actually connect to the tor network so click on connect 
Once you've connected in the top right hand corner, it should say connected. Then all we have to do is paste in our onion address, hit enter and happy days. It should open and that's your website. That is your own personal private little website on the dark web. And if you have any version of Linux available to you, this is this is a nice little project that you can do anytime at all. As I said, it takes about five minutes to do this. If you don't know anything about the dark web, you've never seen it before, you've never been on it before, then I have a video that's going to help you, that's going to show you a lot of different ways that you can actually get on the dark web, how you can remain private on the dark web. Um, it's worth checking out. I'm going to leave it here. Let me know what you think.